KLST News at 6 starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Carolyn McEnroe with a special edition of KLST News at 6. We're getting ready for the final rodeo performance before the short go finals tomorrow. Longtime pickup man Josh Edwards is here with Pete Car Pro Rodeo. Nice to see you again, Josh. Nice to see you, Carolyn. I think anybody who's been going to this rodeo for I don't know how many years is used to seeing you, and we know we know you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is my 15th year, I believe, here at San Angelo. So. You and Boyd are kind of on the same <laughs> we're on, on the same the path. path. That's right. <laughs> Let's talk about. I want to talk about something. You just were elected vice chairman of the PRCA board. Board. Let's. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first of all, tell us about, about the role of a pickup man and what what you do every night. Our main role. We have two basic. Uh principles of what we do and it's to take care of the cowboys and take care of the stock so our first goal is to when when the buzzer blows is to make sure the cowboy gets set down safely and then to handle the stock and get it out of the arena safely as well that's on the rough stock side timed event side you're also right there too we saw a steer wrestler get hung up in his stirrup and was getting heading toward the other end of the arena and within a split second while everybody is going ah you had your rope ready to go. Yes, ma'am. It's kind of a, an all-around safety deal as far as the time to venture. You're there to, you know, usher the cattle out, keep the, the performance moving, but in any event that there was some unexpected uh, instance, you're, you're there to react and, and try to help everybody. How many can. horses do you use each night? I brought six, but I use four a night. Uh, I give two a break and let them rest. I've noticed a lot lately, Boyd will halt things for just a few seconds when you all get caught back where the stock, when you get rid of them. How many, there, what are there, gates going on back there that you have to get in one and get your, your horse or your bull in the other? Yes, ma'am. They have to go through the strip and shoot, and then sometimes we got to come back out, and it's just kind of a confined area, so it takes a few seconds. So. Experience, I'm guessing, has a lot to do with this. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I've been doing this for, this is my 23rd year in general, and uh, it, it's just one of those things that becomes muscle memory after a little while. All right. Speaking of experience, what an honor to be on the PRCA board. Of course, you've been on several committees and helped with that for years now. Tell us what your year is going to be like now, going in your vice chairman, and then the next year. Well, uh, as far as the picking up, it stays the same. It just it's an added workload on the on the political legislative side, you know. But uh, we're going through uh, more negotiations, trying to build the the media side of the PRCA, working with the Cowboy Channel to build and grow that. They just announced that new ex contract going to 2028, I believe. Yes, ma'am. Yes ma'am and uh, uh, the R RFG is uh, developing another channel called the cowgirl channel so we're adding content to that channel as well so they're growing their media and it's good for both sides you know that's interesting we've been doing this for I don't know how many years now and it's it interesting to see how there is more money in rodeo contestants are making more money you were just telling talking about the NFR in December yes ma'am we, we've had a kind of a, a goal uh, you know to have everybody at the NFR making a six-figure income and we only missed that by one contestant this year so it really shows the growth you know we even had one contestant Stetson Wright who almost won a million dollars in one year so uh, the growth of of the association is is being shown through the financial success of those contestants as well. All right. Well, Josh, what, what do you do now before 730? What's your next? Uh, we just go get our horses ready and kind of prep for that and get our mind ready and just get ready to go. For a fast show, you can't look down or talk to anybody. You'll miss it. Josh, That's right. nice to see you. Yes, ma'am. You too. Thank you. Josh Edwards, pickup man. We'll be back tonight at 10 to talk to some of the contestants and show you highlights from tonight's rodeo. This rodeo update is sponsored by Twin Mountain Fence.